I'm absolutely delighted. It's a, I think it's a kind of a recognition for an effort that took many, 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 many years and many hours and much time to build skills development and training in South Africa into something to be proud of. And the collaboration with IMI probably was the cherry on the cake. And for me to be recognized for that was just amazing. It's amazing to be in a room full of people of this stature and to be recognized for your efforts in a very tiny country there in the south of Africa. The whole industry, I think, um, because of the way that the world is structured and education basically gets, stands at the back end of funding um, and you have a lot of social ills that affect young people. You cannot take the traditional approach to skills development and training because it's a human being you're developing with a lot of deficit because of who we are. It's actually our fault, our generation, and we need to ensure that when we develop them that it's a holistic approach to skills development and training. It cannot be only about technical skills or soft skills. It's taking the person, coaching, mentoring, life skills, all of those things, holistically development, uh, developing them into people that we can, we can actually utilize to grow the economy of, of our different countries. It's not a single solution because it's a complex problem. The IMI has, has been around for a long time, like the RMI in South Africa, but there's a difference. The IMI focuses on, on, on really putting standards in place for, for training facilities. And to us, that's very important because, as I mentioned tonight, we have 51 TVET colleges in South Africa, but the standard of training is not what industry requires, and the IMI can play a significant role in public and private training provision to ensure that standards will be the same across all. And that is important to the industry. So a learner will come out with a skill that is recognized by industry. And currently there's that skills divide between industry and training institutions in South Africa. So the IMIs will be the gelling of, of, of the two. You know, I looked a lot around the room tonight and um, in South Africa it's even worse. In South Africa it's very male dominated. Um, it's never phased me because it's not about me. It's not about the males. It's about a country and the growth of an economy and developing of people. So for me tonight it was special because it, I didn't know. This morning I actually got a, a message from, from, from someone that said international women's day and I thought, wow. This is amazing. So, as a woman in a, in a, in a male-dominated environment, it is, it is special to be recognized, you know, and to look around the room and see women that made an impact on, on, on the male world. Um, especially a young lady came to me now, and she, she's a motor mechanic, and she developed herself further, and she's now a business development manager, and she just had to come and say, you know, it's so great to see somebody else that you can look up to, and that to me is important.